You go into great biographical detail about this woman, including the fact that well, she, she started, you know, like many, many, you know, people of the United States, just doing sort of random jobs. Right, exactly. When she first started her banking career, she had a part-time job as a drive through teller. In addition to working on Sundays, she told me she was a, a waitress, essentially a server at this place that was, you know, all you could eat flounder. Um, and then also she had this a third job as well. So really just juggling through these things and has had this incredible rise, you know, first rising up these ranks in some of these community banks, then going on to be a, a Fed governor. And now here at Wells Fargo at the very top. The all you can eat flounder clearly preparing her for what, what happens probably in banks boardrooms now she also spent five years though as fed governor as you said we're getting changes rules now such that perhaps the board you know may not hear everything that's said to the executives she's going to be a sort of a go-between as chairman of the board between the executives the c-suite and, uh, and and the rest of the bank and and the fed you know investigators and Right, exactly. So she'll have her relationships with the regulatory side. I got to talk to Mary Jo White yesterday, which, of course, you know, she had led the SEC for a time. She's now doing private practice in, in law. And she said, you know, that's a strength for Betsy Duke to have that regulatory background as we go through changes, but also because she really can speak then to investors and her fellow board members, too. Laura, you also point out in your story that of the six uh, giant banks in the U.S., none have had a female chair or CEO. Is this the beginning of something, do you think? Well, I think, uh, Nira, you know, I've talked with different analysts who mentioned this trend. You know, in Europe, I think you do have a little bit more of female board representation. And we are seeing in the U.S., you know, somewhat pushed by shareholders, somewhat pushed by some other political forces, where we are seeing boards more interested in having diversity. So I think that you can look at this and say, well, hey, here's a bank that is trying in financial services to have a female head.